and welcome to the channel. My name is Trucker Jay, and this channel is normally for doing my daily vlogs and everything like that. But if you look, at, if you search for this video on purpose, you're obviously looking for a review on what I'm about to show you. So, sorry to all my regular viewers, this is not a normal video. Uh, I've got <coughs> this. It is a TV. Uh, oh, but I need to apologise for the hat. My hair's a mess. And I turn the cap around the other way, the lighting's all wrong, so yeah, there we go. Anyway, I'm parked up in the truck at night as well, so the lighting isn't great. But I mean, you want to see it for what it actually really is, and when you're going to use it, it's going to be at night in the truck. So this is uh, by a company called August International. It's the DA, where is it, DA100D. And it's got 10.1 inch screen digital HD and TV analog as well uh, as multi multimedia player uh, what that means is you can plug in uh, an SD card or a memory stick with your films on and it'll play those for you it's also got uh, well it's DA it's digital video broadcasting so it picks up all the new all the newer channels um, all the digital channels sorry uh, it's got an electronic program guide so you can flip through like you do at home and see what's on, set reminders set, uh, uh, and stuff like that. And it's also a PVR which means it uh, records, so if you, you stick a memory stick in there or um, an SD card, you can set the timer and you can tell it what you want it to record and it will do a series record as well, which is pretty cool. Um, it's got stereo speakers and it sounds all right, actually. It doesn't sound bad at all. Um, what else has it got on here? Oh, your, your, your seven day is your um, EPG. So you can see up to like anything up to seven days of what's coming on TV. So, you know, um, there, USB and micro SD card reader, yep. Yeah, and record an ex onto external storage. So I've already shown this once on one of my other videos, just to give it a preview. Uh, this is a bit more in depth, this one. So let's have a look at it. I put it back in the box so you can see how you get it. But it's it's well packaged, decent box. It's made in the UK and uh, by a company called August International. Um, if you've already seen enough and you want to go and get one, the link's in the description below. So let's have a look. And I do apologise, I'm recording on the GoPro, but I mean that's the only equipment I use, so not the best really for doing a review. Anyway. What it comes with is a remote control, which works, as you'd expect. Um, a little box of goodies. Um, let's have a little goodie in here. I've been corrected. I, I've already called it one of these things, the wrong thing, and so I've been corrected. Anyway, you get the stand for the TV. You get two antennas, or aerial as it says on there. This one's a miniature mag mount with a fairly decent long lead so you know it will reach um, I find it better when it actually sticks to metal obviously there's nothing metal in here but I'll show you the minute you just stick it to the door frame there and it gets a good signal composite leads I think that's the right word there's another antenna there which probably works better in the city or it works in the city, I've, I've, I've used this once in Scotland and it didn't pick up that much, but that one picked up all the channels. <coughs> you have to excuse me as well, I'm just getting over tonsillitis and the flu at the same time. So it also comes with HD wires, HD leads. So you get the standard HD on that side and then it's either the mini or the micro HD on that side. So that's the one that goes into the TV and then that can go into your PlayStation, your Xbox, DVD player, whatever you've got, your laptop. Um, one thing I've tried though, I've put Netflix on my laptop, plugged this in, but Netflix is like, ah, hang on a minute, you're doing something dodgy there, doesn't let you do it. The lights are flickering because the heat is going on. It comes with a UK plug, and it also comes with one of these adapter plugs. So basically you can just, I think it'll work in a different country. Not sure what country that's for. It actually looks like a shaver one to me. That I'm not 100%. Um, it also, yeah, they, they, I haven't got the house plug here because it didn't. It, I took it out. It didn't actually come with this. Um, 
this is optional extra. Well, it's not that much extra, really. Um, because this is aimed at caravanners as well and um, people who like just use it in the house, uh, it comes with a standard UK plug. But however, uh, I asked them if it comes with a, if they can send me one of these, and they sent me this out. And uh, this is a 12 volt adapter. Um, it does work on 12 volt and 24 volt, so it can go straight into a 24 volt socket on the uh, in the truck. But it's kind of pointless doing that. You might as well just put it in a 12 volt socket because you're going from 12 volt, so 24 volt to 12 volt, and then back to 24 volt. It, it, yeah, don't do it. Just put it in 12 volt, you're fine. Right. Also, I forgot to mention the TV accepts batteries, so it will run on pencil batteries, which I'm going to show you now. It is A-rated on energy. Someone was asking, did it drain the battery on the truck? No, it didn't drain the battery on the truck. The other day, I left it on, I fell asleep. In fact, I put the sleep timer on, and um, it was fine, no problems. So it comes with the instructions there in multiple languages. Um, English, French, German, Italian, Spanish, maybe more inside, I don't know. I only do, I only go into these when I'm stuck. So it comes well packaged in this, whatever that is. And then you've got the TV, which is fine for this, it's a fine size TV. You don't need anything bigger than that in there really. I mean, you could get bigger if you wanted to, but I mean, this is gonna use a lot less energy. So, except batteries there. I'm guessing, what is it? Six pencil batteries. So, obviously they don't come with it, but I mean, I don't think I'd ever be using it on that, unless I was going camping or something. That would be a good idea then. So, where did I put the stand? I put it somewhere, oh there it is. So it comes with a little stand, uh, and you can, you can change the height on it, so... I don't know what I'm showing you there really, you can't see it because my hand's back. You can change the angle basically, if you put it on the higher slot on the back, it'll change the angle slightly up. And if you put it, oh, if you put it on the low one, it will kind of keep the TV more square, straight on. Um, so you got all your your ins and your outs there, your, your sockets. You got your SD card there, audio in, audio out, power socket. It has a little light to let you know it's, it's powered on. USB and then your antenna one at the top, and then the HDMI is, is in the middle there as well. I'll, I'll show you this close up in these in a minute. So yeah, this is shaky camera time now. So uh, it's all plugged in, it's all set up, dead quick. So use the uh, remote control, just press. It's, it might be a little bit blurry on this screen because the, the camera the camera settings aren't quite right. I'll try and sort that out in editing. So obviously this has not been tuned in since last time, which I think was in Scotland, so there's no picture to display. So when you go into a new area, you just press uh, menu and then down, countries already on the UK, auto search, just go down one to auto search and then you press OK. And then it will literally find all the programs. I kind of forgot to press record. I thought I'll do a fast motion of this so you can see it, but I kind of I kind of forgot to press the record button. So here you are, halfway through it. And it's found 44 programs, uh, one radio station and one data at the moment. Depending where you are in the country, depends when, how many pitch, uh, sorry, how many channels you're gonna pick up and how quickly it picks up. Now bear in mind, I am actually just off Woodhead Pass in Derbyshire. Um, and it's kind of, if you don't know where Woodhead Pass is, it is a, uh, country road with nothing on it, maybe one or two farms um, and it's just literally the moors either side of me 
and that's where I am and it's still found 75 so far plus 28 radio um, and I'll speed the rest bit up for you Takes us on into so as you can see it's done I've just muted it but uh, it, you have the uh, the menu still up so you can just press uh, uh, menu again and that'll go away and I've just muted as I say let's turn that down a little bit so that's uh, there we go perfectly clear digital picture pretty damn good one thing I did do when I first got it, I went on to the settings to see what settings it had. And I think the settings was on, there weren't, a, it wasn't on stereo, so I changed it to stereo and it made it sound much better. But as you can see there, this is BBC One. The first one it goes to BBC One. And then you've got EPG, which is the bottom right button here, or nearly the bottom right button. So you can just, oh, point out first. The first time you press it, it's just gonna wait a second. It's gonna try and find out what's on, on. And there you go, it's on, it's found out for you. So you can actually scroll through there and you can see what's on. One downside that annoys me a little bit is, so, so I'm on, I'll change from BBC One Yorkshire to BBC Two. Uh, or no, ITV, there we go. I think, oh, ITV News on, I'll, I'll watch that. So I'll press okay, nothing. Press okay on ITV itself nothing it doesn't actually change the channel for you which is a little bit of an annoyance but it's not the end of the world because you can just come out of the EC, ecg epg and just change the channel to whatever it was um and you can also see it comes up with the information down at the bottom there as well uh crystal clear picture on every channel eight out of cats ten cats just count down Probably better skip that one, uh, but it is a good thing. I like that one. Uh, anyway, so as you can see, perfectly clear picture. Um, I'm quite impressed with it. So there you have it. Little portable TV. That's great for the truck, caravan, camping, whatever. Um, they when I I was actually looking for a TV about five months ago for the truck, and the prices on on them. You type in truck TV on Google, you go and do it now and have a look. The prices are ridiculous. So I thought, well, I, I can't really justify spending that really. So I didn't. And then August International said, do you fancy having a look at this TV? Give us an honest, genuine opinion, an honest review. So I was like, okay, we'll, we'll see what it's like. Never heard of the company before. I was expecting it to be a bit naff, to be honest. But anyway. No, it's not. I was really surprised. And I know that Kev T has got one as well. And possibly Truckajenko. Um, maybe me and Kev have sold it to him because I was talking to Kev. Uh, Kev T is another YouTuber about this. And he's saying absolutely how impressed he was. So I think he's going to do a review on it as well. Um, so look out for his review. In fact, if I've got, if it's out at the same time as this, I'll send you the link. I'll put the link at the bottom of this, this screen here. Anyway, coming down to the price, it's on Amazon, link below as well, um, for £139 on Prime. Um, it's got, at the moment, at the time of this video, I think it's till the end of January, there's a 10% off it. Also, you can use my code, which is TJL20OFF, so Trucker J Lee. TJL, 2-0, 20% and off, off obviously. I'll write it down below anyway. So um, you can actually get 30% off right now uh, from £139, which is a really good price, I think. Um, one, it does have a slight, one one only niggle. And these are only niggles, like the EPG was just a little niggle. Um, this other thing is a niggle. When I have it up on the top of the, uh, above, above the window, pretty much is like a window sill there and I'm I'm laying in bed watching it I'll show you 
it's perfectly fine now i can watch it perfectly the angle as you angle it up like that slightly so basically as i'm getting lower so it'll be up and i'm getting lower i'll just simulate that by moving it backwards the picture goes a bit less clear like you know on the laptops I have like a privacy screen so people can't see side to side it's kind of like that but from underneath but that's the only niggle i've got with it really other than that it's faultless um and the epg where could do with a little update i mean it looks modern enough and it feels modern enough just so when you flicking through the channels you can just i want that one you know on the uh, on the timer so yeah i've not gone through all the features on this it's got quite a lot of features on there i do believe i'm not i don't think it comes with it though um i do believe there is a way to connect this from from this to your car radio i think they sell uh like a maybe it's a dongle or something but if this has got an audio out anyway and if you've got an audio uh, a bluetooth to radio thing in your car lying around that you don't use well there you go you can have it get the sound from this coming out of the speakers in the truck or the car or whatever you're watching it in so would i recommend it yeah i would it's uh officially trucker j recommended um so if you're interested go and have a look at the uh, link below it's got the more information on there um i've just given you the overview um definitely worth having a look though if you're especially if you're thinking of getting a tv portable tv for your truck caravan car tent boat um wherever else you'd want a tv really but because it, it is quite a quick setup uh every time i move area i mean the antennas are stuck on the uh side of the door it's not particularly pointing up it's just pointing sideways or down whichever way you stick it and it always gets a signal uh and i think it was 122 channels then it picked up on tv and then plus the radio channels which is about 40 i think um but it's um in some areas you'll get more than that um but as i say i'm not in the best of areas to show you um the other antenna um where was it gone this one there, I mean, let me just unplug that one. Obviously this this might not work very well because it's been tuned in with the antenna, so this may, this may flop down fail. Let's, oh, let's plug it in and find out if it picks anything up. It still does. Little bit of digital line, the digital, digital interference lines there then. Well, that's not bad considering it's been tuned in on a different antenna. Normally, if you change antenna on anything, you retune it in. Let's see what other channels it'll actually work with now, then. Still fine. Looks good to me, that. And it's also got a sleep timer as well, so um, if you're worried about falling asleep at night, you can set it to, I think it's... 15 20 30 45 an hour something like that um so oh we've got subtitles as well let's try the subtitles english maybe this is not a, a subtitled uh, program oh yeah it is there you go so it's got subtitles as well uh if this was connected to a storage device i can pause live tv just like you can at home um anything else on here you press information there it'll bring up what's going on what uh, program's on let's go into the menu again so the options are that's the tuning part of it and then you've got your display mode mine's in dynamic at the moment you can change it standard my old user the user's a bit br brighter you can change your contrast brightness color sharpness tint color temperature aspect ratio oh didn't want to change that <laughs> uh what else have we got on there it's the sound so it's in audio mode is in standard music movie sports etc you're getting the picture there aren't you um it's in sas srs true surround um go back onto the menu you got your clock sleep timer auto sleep so it'll just turn off after the tv's been left on for so many so long 
and then you've got your language settings um so english french dutch italian spanish so they're the four like four, four or five languages then yeah um and you can image revert what's that do invert oh there you go you can turn it you can actually mount it upside down that's cool that i didn't know you could do that you can mount it upside down i've just said that twice 